everybody, Carmen Norris. Hey, and Tim Norris. And welcome to part two of Approach to Thistletop. We got two locations down and two yet to go, and we've yet to actually find where the villain is hiding. So let's get to it. Oh, it says here, on closing, you may shuffle an item from your discard pile into your deck. Okay. What do I have in here? An item. It has to be an item. So it's oh, your boots. My boots. Yeah. So okay. it gets shuffled in them. Alright. Alright. You all done? Yep. Alright. Well, let's see what happens to me here. A codex. I live by the codex. Alright, it's an intelligence knowledge eight. Mm. Books are kind of hard for me, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to put that book away. We're going to put it in the freezer. Go in the freezer book. Warriors don't need books. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I can decide which I am. I'm going to reset my hand. There we go. And at least now I've got a weapon in my hand, so I'm feeling a little better now. Carmen? Okay, well, I'm better on my own, so I guess I'll go here and beat some stuff up. All right, let's see what you got. Occultus. All right, so Occultus is a combat nine. If undefeated, shuffle the top card of the Blessing deck into this location deck. Okay. All right, so we ain't going to have to worry about that, though. You're going to whoop him up, so... Uh, which one are you going to use? Your return throwing axe or your heavy crossbow? I'll use my return throwing axe, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, do something different. Okay. That's a D8 plus one, and I may recharge this card to add another D6. Kind of nice to keep a magic weapon on hand, though. I wouldn't necessarily um, recharge it right away. I can recharge this guy. That would be a good idea. Yeah, we'll use that one. There go. All right. All right. Beat him up, hon. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have beat up the cultist. Goodbye, oh, yeah, cultist. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know what that noise was I made, but that's what cultists do. Okay. All right. Your turn. You all done? All right. And a scimitar. All right. So, cool. I like that. A strength melee 7. Um, well, all I have to do is uh, roll a 2 with a D10. Come on. You can roll a 2. Yes, I can. All, all right. right. Cool. I want to, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. what should I get rid of? I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get rid of this potion of fortitude. I'll just stick around this place. And, uh, I want to explore again. Yeah. Yeah. I've got four cards. Do you think I need to? I don't know. I don't think I need to. I'll just, I'll just Oh, no. shoot. I can't help you now because then I would get stuck there. Yeah. With my staff of minor healing. Uh, I think I'm alright. Don't worry about it. Okay. You're okay. Up. Potion of glibness. Glibness. Glibby. <laughs> Intel intelligence craft four. What's your intelligence? It's a four. Yay! I can do this. You can do it. Come on. Carmen. 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 I'm so smart. <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Intelligence is hard. <laughs> it is hard, I agree. Um, you actually could have... Nope, that's a wisdom. Which, okay. Anyways, did you want to explore again with that? Uh... Nope. Nope? Okay. So it is... A... But, this what? will add to a wisdom check, which is what is required to... Indubitably. Locations. Oh no, a rat swarm! I hate rats! Okay, so a combat eight check, and it says here, if you do not defeat the rat swarm by at least four, shuffle it into the deck. It came from the rat swarm still counts as defeated. Oh my goodness. Rats in the cave. Go figure, right? Okay, so doo -doo -doo -doo. I have to beat him by four. Um, well, that's interesting. I want it. For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d6. You may additionally discard this die to card to add a, another 1d6 plus 1. But it's not magic. That's kind of funny. The scimitar? I, I think it would be magic for that. Well, regardless, um, I think we will use that. So we're going to do a d10 plus a d6 plus an additional d6 and that'll give me a plus one plus my normal five so that's a plus six so that means i need to roll an eight right is that right no 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 an eight. a six i need to roll a six because i have to beat them by four 
Okay. So I have to roll a six with these, right? Yes. Let's do this. There we go. There you Congrats. go. Rats. <laughs> poison cheese. All right. So yeah, I'm pretty content being done with okay. that. So you're up. So I still have four cards to draw. So I'm a. Uh, Aldern Foxglove. I am Aldern Foxglove, the most handsome man in town. Banish this card to reduce damage dealt to a character at your location by three. Banish this card to succeed at your check to acquire weapon, armor, item, or spell. Ooh, I That's like him. Cool. He has a Charisma Diplomacy 4. My Charisma is a D6. And I have nothing to help me. Well, technically you do. You have yeah. that, and they could add another D6. But, but he gets banished. 50% chance. You failed. I failed. And you failed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you just uh, done? Uh, yeah. All right. What? It's like we're doing good on the blessing deck. I think so. so too. Oh, trapped passageway. This is a wisdom, perception, dexterity, acrobats nine. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, you are dealt two d four combat damage. That's not good. Oh. Um, so I guess I would just have to use my master word. Tools. Oh, okay. Which means that I recharge this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is a 14 or lower. This yes. fits that. Perfect. So. And now you get another weapon. I, well, when why you, do I get another weapon? When you draw back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means I also, though, I get to explore again. Oh, so okay. That's what I like more than anything. So. Shwink! Whoa, it's him! What you, what you want? What you, what you want? If you do the win closing here, you can temporarily close this. If I defeat him, this is game. Summon and defeat a goblin raider henchman. Okay. Okay, so first off, the bad part is he is in the goblin fortress. So that's going to give him a combat 10. Then you're going to have to roll that. Okay, so he's a combat 12 for you to defeat. Okay. All right. Uh, he has no other special things other than if undefeated, bury one item or weapon of your choice from your discard pile. So... All right, huh? Let's see what you got in you. Let's see what you're made of. You can do this. Temporarily close down the Goblin Fortress. I beat Gogo Mert. Gog Mert. Gog Gog Mert. Why can't people just be named like Bob? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. I'm a goblin. Okay. Um, you want me to go all crazy and add this? This very to well it? could be game. Uh, why not? And so that'll give you, oh goodness, yeah. <laughs> this should definitely be. <laughs> you go, girl. All right, so you've defeated him. Yes. So um, nothing else happens here. So this this place is temporarily closed. We'll just put that card on there. All right, so it um, says here, before the encounter, he deals 1d4 minus 1 fire damage to me. So let's see what happens here. So he deals 2 fire damage to me. Um, this says here that banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you are proficient with heavy armors, bury this card instead. Um, even though it's fire damage, I mean, it says all damage. Yep. It doesn't say specifically combat damage, so I believe that I am safe there. All right. So I'll bury that to block that damage. All right, so I need to roll the D4 on him to see what? What? Oh, never mind. Oh, you, you, well, I got rid of my... But you don't have to do the one closing because it's nope. the villain. Okay. okay, so he is a plus three on both of his checks. Woo! All right. Okay. All right, so uh, he is a combat 13 and then a combat 15. Wow. And all damage dealt to him is fired from him is fire damage. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Okay, he can't kill me. That's the good thing. Maybe I should have kept a blessing for you. Yeah. Well, I've got a blessing, so why don't we do this? Uh, that I will... was stupid of me. No, it's honey, I don't think it's a big deal. We're going to use my combat or my melee strength, which is a D10 plus 5. We will use my great axe, which adds an additional D12. We will reach... Maybe we should reach save that one for this no no we will we'll recharge it mm. for an additional d10 worst case scenario he will do no damage to me or uh one damage or, or, or anyways if i fail this then he'll kill me he'll hit both of these but All right 
Um, but if I get to the next one, I'm going to use both of these anyways, so I would have no damage anyways. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get out. I have to roll a 10, 11, 12, 13. I have to roll an 8 with these. Okay. So. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, all right. That's number one. Now we're going to go to the next step, which is a combat 15 that I have to do. So I will use my D10. I will now use my Blessing of Torog, which will add an additional D10. I will use my Longsword, which adds a D8. I will now recharge it for an additional D6. And the good thing is he can't do any damage to me now either if I fail. But I have to get a 10 with all of this because okay. I have a natural plus 5. This is it. Up top. Woo! Woo! Go, go, Mert. You are defeated, my friend. All right, so That's that is it. absolute game. Um, it says here that each character draws a random weapon from the box, so Ooh. why don't we just do that real quick here? Come on. Good stuff. Good random weapon. Mm, this one. Okay, and then go ahead. Okay, <laughs> forget it. All right, what'd you get? Short sword. Plus one. Okay, and then why don't you go ahead and draw one for me too? Okay. Here, draw for him. I want you to draw for him. I want that one right there. Light crossbow. Hey, that's like totally unexciting. All right, <laughs> so why don't we set this up and uh, we'll see which cards we're going to carry over to the next scenario. Woo! Pow! Okay, so Go Go Merc, the disco champion of the Pathfinder realm, is now defeated. We got in a dance fight and I came out on top. Marisol really wanted to do that dance fight. No, nobody dances like Valeros. Everybody knows that. Twinkle Toe Valeros. <laughs> okay, so kind of a cool little setup there, given the fact that you had to close down temporarily the one location, and you yeah. happen to draw a goblin in the process, and being at the Goblin okay. Fortress, given the fact the scenario you know worked well for goblins, so it's kind of right. neat. You know? I, I mean, it made you nervous, but I tell you yeah. what, with Maricel anymore, I'm just like, oh, she can beat up anything. <laughs> she is awfully powerful and getting better and better as the game progresses. Um, so we ended up drawing some pretty interesting weapons. Um, if you stay after the credits, we'll show you which ones we're going to carry over with us to the next scenario. I don't think you had much of anything you took with you. Um, but no. I did find a couple of weapons. And speaking of the weapons, the scimitar... I. <laughs> Is that a magical weapon? It does say a plus one, and typically that equates to a magical weapon. I found that kind of interesting. Um, so if it is magical, leave a comment below. Let us know. And uh, speaking of that, somebody mentioned that I fought a goblin, the bugbear. Uh, Brocklamosaurus. Mm -hmm. And he was supposed to be a goblin, but it was not listed on his card. So. Yeah, but you would have whooped him anyways, and, and he even acknowledged that. So excellent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that henchman, Carmen did fight. You need to write in, he is supposed to be a goblin, just in case if you have that issue in the games you guys play. Oh, uh, okay, so this will be the, we got one more. One more. Scenario in the Burnt Offering. And then we're done with Burnt Offering. And we're on to the Skin Saw Murder Adventure deck. So skin kinda, Saw Murder. Yeah, very exciting. It sounds exciting. Yeah, yeah. Who, who doesn't like skin and who doesn't like saws? Um, <laughs> and murders! <laughs> it's be like a Sherlock Holmes mystery or something. <laughs> so um, I think that's pretty much it. I think we've covered everything. Can you think of anything? I think yeah. that's it. All right. So, so we'll, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just start with weapons? It's at the top of the list. I can hold five weapons. And I got a bazillion. Um, okay. And I have this short sword plus one that's not doing me any good. Okay, well, let's start. I'm going to keep the long sword. I'm going to keep the icy long spear. I'm going to keep the great axe. So there's three. There's um, a short sword to take a look at. A d6 plus one. And then another d6. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't want the light crossbow. I'm thinking about the short sword and the scimitar, but the problem is, is that that gives me all... I know I'm not going to keep the longsword. We'll just get rid of that. I don't need two war hammers. Hmm. It's nice the fact that this is a magic weapon. So I, I can't pass up magic weapons. I think that that's kind of silly. Uh, so do I keep... 
a, I really think this must be a magic weapon if it's got the plus one. I don't understand. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, so here's the thing. If the scimitar is a magic weapon, I'm going to take it. Otherwise, I'm going to take the, the war hammer so that I've got a bludgeoning weapon. Otherwise, I have zero bludgeoning weapons. So, for the moment, I'm going to take the scimitar. And if it's not a magic weapon, I'm going to go back and take the war hammer. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. How about you? Uh, well, I've got my heavy crossbow and my re returning throwing axe, and that's all I can carry. So okay. there you go. Next thing are spells, which neither one of us can hold. Armors. I can hold three armors. Um, I'm just going to do all three of these. The two half plates and the one chainmail. I only hold one, Oops. so I guess that's all I get. Well, you wouldn't want that sword. What do you got? Magic leather armor? Yeah. Alright, items. I can hold two items. I definitely don't care to have that stupid token of remembrance. Okay, um, but I do got a question. This Masterwork Tools would actually work better for you. Uh, I, I'm more than happy to take your Thieves Tools okay. in exchange. Um, and then I would be just totally fine with that. So. Okay, well I'm missing an item. You, you used your Potion of Ruggedness. Yeah. Remember you banished so it? So I'm supposed to hold six items. I only have five. Oh, well, you know what's cool? You get to take um, a basic one back out of the box. And uh, I'm kind of curious. Would you, do you think it'd be a good idea just to grab another Thieves Tools then? Regular? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Or, you know, a Matic would be good. Something like that. Add 1d8 to your non-combat strength check. Strength's kind of low. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. okay. All right. Next, allies. I've already got my two allies. I've already got my two allies. All right. Next are blessings. I've got my three blessings. Yep, and I've got my four blessings. That's it. All right. 